Hey you guys, I'm sitting in the car but I am not moving. Um, I just wanted to um, do an update on breastfeeding. I have not had an opportunity to sit down at home and just sit in front of the camera and do an update on where I am um, breastfeeding wise. Um, I just be so busy. I underestimated how difficult, you know, it is to, you know, do recording when you have a busy 10 month old, but I am 10 months in on nursing him. I am still breastfeeding. I am still pumping at work two to three times a day, Monday through Thursday. Um, so let me see. He is a pro at breastfeeding. Now we have learned how to do this thing and cross that bridge in the beginning it was difficult latching him was an issue um i stuck with it i have not had to substitute him for you know with formula at all since the first week that he was born um what else he's bit me a couple of times but you know not too much most of the time, Caden is nursing when it's time for him to go down for either a nap or for bed. He is still doing bottles with my mom. He doesn't do many bottles with her because now, of course, he's eating um, solid foods. He does not like baby food, so if it's in a jar or a can, he is not having it. He wants the same food you're putting in your mouth as the food that he wants, so... Um, yeah, he he's funny. <laughs> but breastfeeding has been far different than I thought it was going to be. I was petrified in the beginning because people are like, "Oh, you have, you know, you'll have cracked nipples and your breasts will leak all over the place when you're out in public." Um, what else? Uh I guess those were the two biggest things that I was concerned about which have not been an issue. I don't leak all over the place. I don't use the um, the pads that you put in your bra. I, I don't have to. I don't leak like that. Um, I guess in the beginning, if I was at home and he was nursing on one side, I would have let down on the other side, but not to the point where I needed to actually put a pad in my bra or anything like that. I also never experienced cracked nipples or bleeding or anything like that. Now, Caden is not the kind of kid that you can just cradle and nurse. Um, he doesn't like to be laying down, you know, like that, unless it's time for him to go to sleep. So, um, yeah, he likes for me to lie next to him and nurse him that way. Um, what else? I am still using my Free Me Cup. So if you've seen my Free Me Cup videos, which is the hand-free system that you can use while you're at work to pump, you know, with your shirt down, I am still using that system. I have not had to replace any part except for one. I lost one of the connector pieces, which is like a little funnel piece that you connect the tubes together. Um, I lost that piece at work. I was washing everything and it went down the drain. So I had to replace that probably about a week ago but other than that I haven't had to replace any of the parts that is still the best thing that I could have purchased for me to be able to continue to breastfeed him all this time um, if I had not gotten that system I don't know if I would have given up on this whole pumping at work journey um, it's just not the most convenient for me to go into our um, file closet and and pump three two to three times a day so i'm glad i got that system because again i'm still pumping at my desk nobody is none the wiser i've had customers come in sit in front of me have a whole conversation with me and not really know that i was pumping if you are listening hard and i mean you can hear it but i guess you know people don't really know that that's what i'm doing so Papa has still been, you know, working for me. He will be a year old in, at the end of May. And I am so proud that I've been able to make it this far. I think I am going to try to nurse him, you know, a year and a half. I don't know. 
I guess when he decides he doesn't want to do it anymore, it seems like to me he, he nurses more at night than he does at any other part of the day. He nurses me. Even on the days that I'm home, he's nursing more at nighttime. So, I don't know. It doesn't bother me. Um, it really doesn't. And I'm, I'm proud that I've been able to do it. So, ladies, if you are questioning breastfeeding, not sure if you should do it, um, or you're afraid to do it, don't be alarmed by the challenges that you have in the beginning because if you're a first time mom, you have to learn and the baby has to learn what works for you all. Breastfeeding does not look the same um, for each mother and each child. It doesn't, it, it looks totally different. I've never had to be out somewhere really and nurse him that way. Um, what I will say is that if you are going back to work and not a stay at home mom, I would introduce bottles early. Um, he has never rejected taking the breast, even though he's taken different kinds of bottles. I think because of the fact that he had that tongue tie in the beginning and he had, you know, John this in the very beginning and I had to give him um, bottles to substitute that first couple of days that he was born. And I thought that I wasn't going to be able to, to nurse him. I was still giving him bottles of breast milk. Um, it really did help in the um, area of, you know, being able to be out and about and would take a bottle. There are some babies that won't take a bottle at all. So I don't believe that, you know, waiting too long to introduce your baby to bottles is a good idea if you plan on having to leave ever or have them in the care of someone else. So that would be my suggestion um, if you are nursing is to introduce them sooner. Um, I have had dips in my production. Um, I'm not pumping 20 plus ounces at work like I used to, but I'm pumping enough for him. And generally he will have three to four bottles while, his with, while he is with my mom, um, Monday through Thursday. So he'll do three or four ounce bottles. Um, but again, like I said, he is also eating meals and snacks and things like that. So he's not taking as many bottles during the day. Um, oatmeal cookies still was the top way for me to get my milk to increase. Um, and yeah, the whole experience has not been a bad one at all. I'm so glad that I was able to do it, um, that I'm still able to do it. He is just a couple days into being 10 months and he is 26 pounds so he's you know his weight gain is good um another misconception with breastfeeding is that um you know people will make you think that your baby will never ever catch a cold because you're nursing not the case he has had a cold maybe twice um where he had a you know, mostly just with a runny nose. Um, I've had to use the nose Frida on him. And I also got the Graco electric um, aspirator uh, for for him just recently. He hates both of them, but um, they do work um, with getting it, getting it out. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's, it's been good. He's right on track. He's been using a potty since eight months and he is you know doing really well with that every time i put him on it he goes um so he's meeting all his milestones but i just wanted to put an update out there about the free me cups and how i'm still you know able to pump while i'm at work i would suggest getting it if you haven't gotten it in your nursing um i haven't been disappointed by them yet so um, anyway, that's my little quick update on where I am as far as nursing is concerned. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Um, I try to get back to you guys as quickly as possible. If you do have any questions about the Freeman Cups or nursing or anything like that. Um, yeah, the whole experience has been awesome. So don't let people discourage you from nursing. It uh, will work itself out. So um, I've been grateful for it. Anyway, thank you. You guys be blessed.